Your name and your perspective on what's going on here today. Yeah, my name is Crystal Brunston. I'm a nurse here at Providence and I'm here today because uh, we've been unable to come to a, a contract agreement with our employer who's Providence Medford Medical Center uh, in order to retain and recruit staff. We have some real worries about kind of the future of nursing at Providence and what that means for our community. How does it make you feel that the patients are in there being taken care of by a nurse that's not you uh, because you're underpaid? I think that um, I feel really positive about being here because I believe in what we're doing. Um, I'm an, a Southern Oregon native and my parents always took us to Providence. My parents still come for care at Providence and a lot of our community does. Um, I have no problem with strike nurses doing the work that they're doing. Uh, I think that our patients need care. Uh, I do feel a little strange about the, the idea that Providence has brought in so many nurses that they're not slowing down elective procedures or elective um, uh, uh, surgeries. Um, because I do believe that nurses who have been working here at the hospital, who know the physicians, who know the equipment and the environment are really going to provide the best level of care. And they haven't properly given that choice, I think, to the community. They've just continued to march on. Um, nurses who are completely unfamiliar are instead doing that work. Um, the big reason that I think pay is a real concern uh, is that we just are unable to recruit nurses. There's this huge nursing shortage. There's been an enormous amount of burnout with COVID. Um, the, the population in America has aged and we have fewer and fewer people in the workforce doing nursing work. And because of that, um, there's a lot of competition for nurses. Um, and if what we see now is that it feels like Providence is not um, competing for those nursing positions, which means that here in Medford and around the state, I mean, this isn't just us, it's 3,000 nurses around the state who are all saying Providence needs to up their game and be able to recruit nurses because we're just chronically running short staffed, which we think is really dangerous and scary and also just not the best care for our patients. I think that Southern Oregon deserves better. Short staffed, so while you're working, you guys are slammed, I'm assuming. Yeah, so not only has there been a lot of burnout because nursing is just difficult work, and again, a lot of nurses um, have really gone through um, the fire with COVID and, and the things that they went through with COVID and, and they're still recovering from that emotionally and physically. Um, but additionally, uh, because we're not able to keep up with the pay and benefits and culture um, of other healthcare systems, both locally and around Oregon, we're not able to recruit new nurses. And so um, because we can't do that, we're chronically understaffed. And there are a couple of reasons why that's um, not great for the community. One is obviously there are not enough nurses to care for patients. And so that means that our patients spend a lot of time sometimes in the emergency room, the emergency room room can become a place that is really difficult for them and for our staff. But sometimes we have open beds often that we can't staff just because we don't have the nurses available. I honestly never considered that we'd be here striking. Um, it's not really my idea of a fun day off and um, my spouse is also a nurse at Providence so right now our family is going without pay to be out here. Um, but I think that it's a really, really important message. I think no matter where you are in Southern Oregon, um, if you have an emergency and you are taken to a hospital, you deserve the same level of care. And that should be a level of care that is competent and patient-centered and safe. And I, I worry that the longer that Providence goes without being able to recruit and retain those nurses, the more that the discrepancy in the quality of care is going to grow between the two healthcare systems. And again, people don't always have a choice. If you have a medical emergency and you show up at the door of the hospital, you expect that you're gonna get a safe level of nursing care. And we worry that won't be true in the future if things continue down that road. I am really fortunate. I've been in Southern Oregon for a long time. Uh, I, I own my house. I've been a nurse for 17 years. Um, you know, I think that it doesn't come down to, hey, I don't get paid enough. For me, it's really about 
we have to be able to get nurses. I mean, uh, our patients are going to show up at our door and they deserve care. And Providence is this huge corporation and they have not given us a reason why they're unable to invest. Uh, Asante, which is a much smaller corporation, they're able to invest. Uh, St. Charles, Sky Lakes, their standalone healthcare systems, they're able to invest in their staff. And what's happening is that we're losing staff to these other um, healthcare companies and these other hospitals. And I don't see why Providence is unwilling to do it as well in order to bring staff here to Medford so that we can fill our hospital beds and care for our patients. What would you tell the who the the guy that runs Providence, um, the the top dog? What would you tell him? I think that um, we're here as part of the family. I mean, we are not separate from Providence. I I really believe that we all want what's best, and the biggest thing that I think a lot of nurses are feeling right now in Medford but also around the state is confusion. We we want to know why. Uh, like why have you left us in this bind where we feel like it's necessary to be out walking the streets begging for help. We haven't gotten great answers as to what you expect, uh, how you expect to recruit and retain nurses and why you're not willing to invest. Thank you for informing me you know the fact that you're out here I would have had no idea if you weren't and I think that everybody else could probably say the same exact thing so you know what you're doing is making a difference and it is telling people like hey we're here and we're not getting enough and they're not getting enough the patients aren't getting what they need yeah I think um that there is a time when nurses actually walk out in order to stand up and this is a time that we're really trying to advocate for our patients and we just throw in our hands up because we don't know what else to do so here we are on the streets just doing all these are the only tools we feel like we have left to any other nurses that are going through the same thing that you are you're on strike right now it's it's gotten as bad as it can get right yeah what would you tell them hold your head up high I think that um, it's a really difficult thing to be out here we're scared about uh, our co-workers we're scared about our community we're scared for our patients but um, even though it's difficult to stand here um, we're standing in I believe what's right and when we stand in righteousness there's uh, nothing should be easier. And so remember that we're standing in righteousness and um, this is us advocating. And so let's do it. We can do this. Amazing. Crystal, this has been a pleasure. And I hope you know I could literally talk to you all day. <laughs> so if there's anything else, any questions you have or any other statements you'd like to make, please. Uh, you know, I just really want patients in Southern Oregon to know how much we really deeply care for them. Um, again, I've been a nurse for 17 years. I spent most of my career in critical care, and I've been really fortunate to be a nurse. I, I feel like my life has absolutely been changed because of the experiences that I've had with patients. And I wouldn't be nearly the person I am today if it weren't for those patients being vulnerable with me and allowing me to be there with them in some of the hardest moments of their lives. And I'm always going to be grateful for that. And because of that, I want to do right by them. Thank you for allowing yourself the emotions to flow right now. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Do you have anything else that you want to put out there? No, but I do appreciate you being here today. Thank you. Hey, yeah. I appreciate what you guys do, and I wish you the best, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Yeah, thank you.